So I'm sure some of you with the mad modeling skills will look at this and call me insane. And uh, perhaps some of you with lesser modeling skills will look at this and go, wow, that's really good. Whether it's a chaotic mess or a lawful uh, assembly of popsicle sticks, this piece has no flex whatsoever anymore in any direction. So uh, that was the goal. It's achieved. None of this is blocking any of the lights. So that is a good thing. And uh, overall, I'll probably put, after I paint all this black, I may put some foil down to help in uh, bouncing the light around, but we'll see about that when I get to it. There's another bit of bracing I'm going to do here and here, and that will help stabilize the back end. There's not a lot of front end bracing that can be done simply because the windows are all over the place here. What I can do is cut a bunch of little bits of popsicle stick and then wring them out radially all along the edge. That will prevent any bending, any bending like this, but it won't stop bending across the surface. Potentially, I could then do a double layer of popsicle stick and that would uh, stiffen things up just as this crossbar here is stabilized that beyond recognition. Taking a look down here, I tried to get the popsicle sticks to accentuate this V curve here. One of the uh, clamps I was using had some dirt on it and now it's all this gunk here that I'm going to have to shave off. There's a couple flat spots. A couple of them line up with where I attach the popsicle sticks. Several of them don't. And looking under here you can clearly see that this is going to be a total nightmare of a seam to work with. And uh, yeah, the AMT kit had a similar problem and working on that, getting this flush and smooth all along here was exceptionally difficult and time consuming and I don't know that I really uh, fixed it all that well. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. One thing that I was hoping to be able to do, I'll pull some tape up, well, let's just pull the whole wing off, because I want to show you how all this is going anyway. So what I had been hoping to do with these wings, when I first saw it, was you got this nice lip here, this nice lip here, had it worked out the way I thought, then it would have been angled down. So unfortunately, there's just no way to clamp this, which is uh, much too bad, because that would have been a nice little feature. So as uh, the direction state, what I'll probably be doing is getting a couple different kinds of glue and holding this firm myself. Maybe I can get a clamp in at each end, but probably not, which is too bad. Once I've got that glued, I'll punch a hole through here and then brace it with more popsicle sticks coming through. Getting this side symmetrical will be a trick, but it shouldn't be too bad. So this is the only wing that I've actually glued with any popsicle sticks so far. I have to slice off this end because this interferes with the attachment here. Now, I thought I might do some stuff different than the way we're in the directions, but it's looking more and more like I'm going to go exactly by the directions. What I'll do is glue this bottom to this bottom before I glue the top on. That will secure this. Then I'll glue this onto the body. Then I'll put the wings on. And I'll put the top of the nacelle on. From there, there's a... Uh, two sets of markers here. The idea is that you find the one you like better and you simply uh, glue it to that. We'll see how that goes. I will still be putting a uh, LED mounts on the inside of this so that idea isn't changing at all. I 
and once this is glued down I'll punch a hole through here so I can run the wiring up into here I'll do some kind of semicircular mount for the green LED I think I had mentioned I may put some white ones further back to add some intensity we'll see about that then I'll have to create a box and block off the back because this needs a red LED maybe two or three we'll see how the intensity goes and all those so there could be at least two possibly up to uh, maybe six in each engine for 12 plus another 10 in the body so uh, we're looking at almost two dozen lights if not seven so that's a pretty big range we'll see where it goes I've got enough wall warts around and uh, resistors and LEDs that I should be able to make a good go at it I was initially thinking that I would glue this bracing on each side of here and then drop one on top but when I did this for uh, the Star Trek Enterprise models I had done that same thing and I had a problem connecting them so in this case I'm going to glue one side down then pry this side in kind of clamp them as tightly as I can without actually distorting them too much then these will be sealed up before they get sealed I'll put in the LED mounts after they get sealed I'll cut out the front and the back so I think that's mainly it the other wing and engine is in the same situation so I've got the body pretty much popsicle sticked up the engine nacelles are sticked I have to do the wings now and get some stability in those uh, like I said cut these down then once it's connected buttress it further so I think that is about it uh, I'm definitely going with some black paint very soon and that should be one of if not the next video coming up so take care, have a good one, and uh, yeah, this will be a really good challenging kit. See you.